Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can comes from Latvia and it is buckwheat porridge with beef. Okay, so buckwheat porridge with beef. Now I'm not really sure what this is actually going to be like. I presume this is meant to be a kind of stew type thing made from grains and fortified with a bit of beef. Let's have a look at the ingredients. So ingredients, buckwheat 72%, beef 17%, onions, salt, flavour enhancer. Not really a lot more to say about what's in the can. Let's have a look at the can itself because I do actually think that this is a work of art. It's got a really bold design and the combination of the colour scheme and the Cyrillic writing just gives it a really cool Eastern European vibe. So not much else to say. It's a painted can rather than labelled. That's interesting. This company that makes this buckwheat porridge with beef also makes a variety of other canned goods which if I can get hold of them they will be very good for weird stuff in a can. So I think what I might do is just show you a selection of the products from their range right now. So if we can get hold of some of those, they'll be appearing on Weird Stuff in a Can at some point in the future. So buckwheat porridge with beef. Now here's an interesting thing. It's like a block of something in there, like a rubbery block of something. So that'll be interesting. I think it's time to open it up and take a look. Um, so I'm going to cut around this with a can opener because you know me and pull tab cans. Not the best of friends. Right, are we ready for this then? Okay, so yeah, it's a... Oh my gosh, that smells weird. <clears throat> well, that's interesting. So there's like a, it's like a greasy, <laughs> that's like beef tallow there and holding all of the buckwheat together and the smell, oh gosh, the smell is, it smells, um, it smells like many a canned beef product actually. It smells quite strongly savoury, but the onions are quite quite tangy. Um, and it's the combination of the beef smell and the onion smell is not entirely pleasant to my sensibilities. So let's tip it out and have a look and see what we've got. So that's the contents of this can, is this rather greyish brown block of grains. I thought this was going to be gelatinous but actually I think this is actually kind of lardy tallow type of thing. So okay I think I'm going to warm some of this up and we'll try it warm but I think I'm, I'm, I've got to taste it as is out of the can. I'm just going to have the tiniest little bit really. Let's give that a taste. It's very strange. I can't quite. There's got a. There's something in the spice mix or the seasonings that I can't quite put my finger on. There's almost a sweetish sort of spiciness to it. So I don't think it's very likely that I'm going to eat the whole lot of this. But let's go and warm a bit of it up and see what that is like. Okay, so we've warmed a bit up. Now I thought it was going to melt and turn into like a stew. And I have to confess at this point, I'm not really sure how this is meant to be served. Whether this is meant to be eaten as a dish on its own with vegetables or something like that, or whether this is meant to be used as a filling for pancakes or pies or who knows. Don't really know what I'm actually meant to do with this, so I might not be doing this justice, but let's try a little bit of this now it's warmed up. Mm, okay, warmed up, it's a lot more tasty. It's got a very strong beef and onion sort of flavour to it. The texture and the overall experience of eating this reminds me quite a lot of eating haggis, actually. Yeah, just the general texture. So yeah, I don't really know whether I'm doing that justice because I'm eating it on its own and I suspect that that's maybe intended to be a small part of 
filling in something similar to pierogi, maybe, or something like that. So there we go, that's buckwheat porridge with beef from Latvia. Weird stuff in a can. So if this is your first visit to Weird Stuff in a Can here at Atomic Shrimp, then please do check out the playlist at the end of this video because there are 40 or so more videos in this theme. And please do consider subscribing, I'd love to have you on board. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.